Let me introduce you to the Compair 6.2 turbine. As you can see, it's got big exhaust, great big propeller. This is a 99 inch Avia propeller. That's how we handle 650 horsepower, which is what this engine develops. It makes an awesome airplane out of it. It's a fixed nose gear airplane. We don't retract the gear on the airplane. This is the inlet to the engine. Uses a lot of air, three doors. So we have a uh, pilot door, just like this on the other side. We have the co-pilot and we put a step in to make it easier to get in and out. Now this step, as it folds up, also becomes your armrest. And then when you close the door, there you go. This is a <coughs> solid piece of aluminum. It's a, uh, we bend it ourselves. So it's just one bow uh, using 606 and 856 tires on it. Um, so it's all really heavy duty, beefy. This is the aft door in the airplane. As you can see, it's a nice big door. In fact, it's sized so we can fit a 55 gallon drum through that door. For certain missions, you wanna do that. So these, these are the steps to enter into the back of the airplane. This gives you access to either storage. We have uh, more seating back here or storage. The true baggage compartment, you can fit six suitcases in here. And right there is your air conditioning. So the airplane is air conditioned. And in Florida, you're thankful it's air conditioned. So the steps, they fold up. And then you close the door and there's one latch in the back and then this comes down and your door is shut really simple simple operation so we put the strakes on this airplane these are aerodynamic the reason that we put strakes on this airplane is multiple a this flies higher faster so we needed the added stability at altitude and part of that is is not what you think when you look at how far out that propeller is and how big it is and the gyroscopic load of having a 152 pound propeller turning at uh, 1900 RPM, the gyroscopic precession from that propeller is much, much higher than you know. So these stop that and make it fly just as stable as any airplane, particularly in turbulence. And that's, that's part of the reason for these strikes to be on there. Um, again, we have a great big vertical stab and a big rudder. I like lots of control. Um, the horizontal stabilizer is very generous. The reason we put such a big stab, stab on the airplane is CG range. It increases the CG range of the airplane. So we, let's go back to the wing because there's some features on this wing. You may wonder why, because most people don't have wing tips on high wing airplanes. We put the wing tip, the wing lit, the wing lit on this airplane because we needed a place to put a fuel vent. So it worked out to be a really, really good way to have a fuel vent so it, the fuel doesn't spill out on the ramp. Uh, the fuel tank is kind of long, so we put a fuel vent and we designed and built a little winglet on the airplane. Next feature on this one again is uh, very large control surfaces. We have big ailerons, we have big flaps on the airplane. All of that is for slow speed performance because we like to be on floats too, so slow speed is very important to us. In this case, the airplane has all wheel pants on it. We wouldn't do that if we were running this thing in, in, in soft field or short field, which we can do. We take the wheel pants off so they don't get packed up with mud. And we can also put bigger tires. We can put big 30 inch tires on it if you really want to. So those are some of the features of this airplane. You'll notice that the flaps are hinged on the outside. These are slotted flaps. They wind up at the end at the 40 degrees. Our, our philosophy is to keep it as simple as we possibly can. If you make it simple, it's easy to build and it's easy to maintain and it's a really rough, uh, hardy system. As you can see, it's a generous airplane inside. It's, it's 54 inches wide. We put a Garmin set system. We have two G, G3Xs, the Garmin 500 Autopilot, and a GNX 650, and, and a backup Horizon. So you have everything you need in the airplane. It makes a really nice, clean panel. Everything is touchscreen. We do fly IFR, so you have to have all that stuff. So this is a power lever throttle. This is a propeller lever, lever um, and, but this also feathers the propeller. Our fe the prop when you shut the engine off is fully feathered. So it, as you can see, it's 90 degrees. And then this is a condition lever, which is something like a, a mixture. So when you start the engine, you push it forward, you know, allow fuel to the engine. All right, you know what? I think we've talked enough. Let's go fly. <laughs>